Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, look at this picture right now and realize that it's not my intention to bully or harass people online. I simply just state my opinion from the beginning to end and think of me as your gay best friend on the phone without like editing my voice clips or anything like that together. So that's my whole gist on YouTube if you're new to my channel. So please subscribe if you're interested in my personality and how I make my videos and uh, don't be a Karen and judge how I make my videos or leave nasty comments. So that being said, I'm going to be talking about Rylan Adams really fast because literally... This was literally the best vlog that he's made in, like, three years. Because the past, like, five vlogs earlier this year were so fucking boring. Like, I've always said that, like, he needs to go back to his roots and make vlogs. Because his channel is called Rylan's Vlogs. And he doesn't really post him going out. He just posts him staying at home with Shane. And they do so many boring stuff at home. And like I said, in so many of my other Shane Dawson, Ryland Adams videos that I made, when they're just like sitting at home, they're just kind of boring and there's nothing wrong with sitting at home, but at least doing some, do something fun that's going to entertain your viewers. Don't just like fucking sit on your couch and talk about stupid conspiracy theories like Shane Dawson does. Like, it's just, I can't watch a video where Shane Dawson is like just sitting on his couch with his brother and then like rylan and then chris and lizzie are all there and they're just like listening to shane and because shane is like the main guy like he without rylan I, without shane dawson Ryan Adams would be nothing let's be real but you know shane dawson is just he's really popular but he's really boring like i don't know why he's so popular if he's so fucking boring because literally like i only watch him because i like rylan adams and rylan adams is entertaining but like fucking he just talks about like conspiracy theorists over and over again and he just makes up like the dumbest fucking theories ever and nobody cares it's like i'm not trying to sound rude but it's just really fucking lame and corny and boring and i just don't understand like why shane dawson gets so much views doing conspiracy theories when like Nobody cares. It's just so boring, you know? And, like, like I said, like, the past, like, five vlogs that Rylan Adams posted, I was going to make more and more videos every single time he puts out a vlog because I love Rylan Adams. He reminds me of me. We're both twinks. We're both, like, the same height and everything. Like, it's just us twinks. We got to stick together, you know? Like, it's just a thing. But literally, um, I've been saying so many fucking times that, like, Rylan Adams is, like, really fucking boring and, like, he needs to step it up or otherwise I'm gonna stop watching his videos. And I think he's listening to my fucking YouTube channel because literally he posted a fucking vlog and it was all about him going out to Disney World and Disneyland, whatever the fuck it was. And it was just, it wasn't with him and his cringe-ass Karen mom. It was him and like lizzie and that's what i like to see i like seeing him and lizzie go out and do like crazy shit like roller coasters and vlogs and stuff like that so before i even started off i just want to say rylan adams if you're listening to this video right now i just want to give a personal thank you for listening to my advice because literally you were hella boring the past like year or two like i swear to god like i couldn't even watch your videos they were so fucking boring and that's not you because i know like your potential i know like he can just fucking bring out the fucking gay in him and just become entertaining and that's why i like him going out doing vlogs because he's like i said in my previous video um but when the james and sophia thing like i said that twinks we're like black holes Rylan adams is a twink you know it is what it is and every time like he goes out like he gets so much fucking attention and even when like that scene when him and lizzie were eating fucking food and the food looked so fucking good. Um, it was like this, um, it looked like a cake, but it wasn't a cake. It was a calzone. Um, it was basically, a, if you guys don't know what a calzone is, it's basically like a pita type of thing where like our, um, uh, there's like a lot of meat and savory foods, kind of like a meat pie, but it's wrapped around like thick like bread rather than like a pie, thin crusted type of bread thing like i don't know how to explain it but it's it's like it's not cake at all it's like it's like meat pie basically but wrapped around with like really thick bread and it's he ate this red calzone and it looked so fucking good and he dipped it in like cheese sauce and it, oh my god like that's what i'm saying like ron adams should make like more mukbang videos because 
I don't know what it is, but seeing like skinny twinks eat like really junk fast food is like fucking heaven to a lot of viewers, not just me. I'm not the only person that thinks this. Because when people see like violent animals eat food, they get, they go crazy. Even Lizzie fucking was saying in one of his vlogs where like she, she watches his like mukbang videos and he was, and she was like getting so fucking, fucking hungry. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, us twinks, we just have this superpower. Like, um, when he and Lizzie were eating, standing up, like, the fucking, gu- the zombie guy, the two fucking Disney workers, they came out of fucking nowhere and they just watched them eat. And it was so fucking crazy because, like I said, Rowland Adams is like a black hole. Every time he goes out and vlogs, because he's a twink, twinks are black holes. And literally, like, fucking, um, they're, we just get so much fucking attention and he got so much attention and that's why I, I like seeing him because he reminds me of me if that makes sense so don't judge why i like rylan adams that is the reason why okay like if you are a gay twink you totally understand where i'm coming from like it's just a thing we have like this club if you're a straight person you probably wouldn't get me at all just don't be a caring and judge it is what it is so that being said um i'm gonna quickly go from the beginning to the end of the video because i just found every part of this video fascinating as fuck so i'm gonna take some water and um, pause the video really fast and i'll be right back one sec okay so basically um it starts off with like him and shane dawson at their house and it was really boring because every single time that shane and ryan or adams are home they literally talk about stupid shit and it's just boring but this time like shane was talking about like how he watches like these the straight couple a man and a woman and they do like crazy fucking activities such as going to amusement parks and these guys are like in their like 40s or something like that they're pretty old and they're like kind of overweight which has i'm not it may sound like i'm a hater but i'm just explaining what they look like okay you fucking karens like i'm not trying to like make fun of their weights i'm just a specific person so yes they look like they're in their 40s they look like they're overweight but they're a couple that's truly in love with each other because they go out and they have like this vlog channel on YouTube. I think they're called an extraordinary couple or something like that. I don't fucking know. But they go to like amusement amusement parks and throughout all of USA they travel and then they like eat like fast food, like junk foods at amusement parks and Shane Austin loves that. So basically, um that's what Rylan Adams did and at the end of the video and Shane Austin was just a huge fan of like freaking um the couple so they had dinner with each other they agreed to meet with each other and Rylan Adams did like this short like vlog where he put the put them in their dinner or he put the fucking them eating dinner together in his vlog so that was cool to see Shane Austin actually like hang out with them and also like I'm curious why like if Shane Austin likes like amusement parks and stuff that Rylan Adams does why doesn't he join Ryan Adams? Like, I understand he has, like, anxiety, uh, he, and it's hard for him to go out, so I get it. And um, it's just, like, he's also Shane Dawson, so he's going to get, like, a lot of attention from, like, crazy people um, that just want to take pictures. So I get it. I get why Shane has anxiety. And he also drinks fucking coffee, and I... Dude, drinking coffee is going to make your anxiety, like, just become even more worse. So, if you want your anxiety to be gone, Shane, like, literally, there's nothing you can do to make anxiety go away if you're drinking coffee. Like, literally, coffee is the main reason why people have fucking panic attacks. And if you don't want to fucking have anxiety, stop drinking coffee. It's as easy as that, bro. Like, seriously, I don't know how to fucking explain it. Like, I know he loves his coffee. Rylan Adams loves his coffee as well, because at the end of the video, Rylan Adams got a cup of coffee, and it looked so fucking good. I'm not even gonna fucking lie. Like, holy fucking shit, I wanted to fucking drink that myself. Like, oh my fucking god. Like, I don't know what it is about Rylan Adams, but every single time he gets fucking food, I fucking want to eat it or fucking want to drink whatever he's drinking. Like, he just makes food looks so fucking good so um basically um shane didn't go with rylan adams to disneyland it was just his friend lizzie and which is fun i like seeing rylan adams and lizzie together it's just like i would have preferred to see shane and rylan if i'm being honest but it is what it is um at least rylan adams went and uh so he basically uh went while lizzie was pregnant so lizzie wasn't able to like go on like roller coasters and stuff like that so basically um it starts off with them like um just arriving at the theme park and then just walking around 
And then they didn't go on any rides. They went on two small rides, which was not fun at all. But um, they ended up like playing like carnival carnival games, and um, it was this game where like they had to throw like this super like bouncy rubber ball into like this bucket from a distance. So even if they throw it really 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 lightly, it's gonna like bounce off from the bucket. And if they were to like actually put it in the bucket they would have gotten like a bart simpson or homer simpson homer simpson like doll and those dolls looked so fucking cute i really wanted Rylan to win a bart simpson doll but he ended up not winning and then like i said like when he was there it was a crowd because everybody was like i said if you see a twink out in public like he's gonna be the black hole he's gonna draw so much attention i don't know what it is and he didn't end up winning which was sad and then he complained to lizzie that one fucking game costed $18 and I'm like bro you're Rylan Adams you make like a fucking zillion dollars a year from your Rylan Adams vlogs you own two fucking houses this guy owns a fucking house that he's not occupying at all in Colorado that's it's it's a fucking mansion it costed like fucking five million dollars to buy and on top of that he's not even living in it and he's paying like mortgage and rent there a month which is probably like at least like eight thousand dollars so for you to be complaining about eighteen dollars, Ryan Adams, like bro, stop it! Like just stop it! Like there's so much more people that that are less fortunate than you when it comes to financial money. So for you to say, oh, I'm wasting eighteen dollars, like fuck off! You know that eighteen dollars means nothing to you, Ryan. I love you, but that pissed me off. But anyways, that being said, um, they ended up eating lots of food. So um, they started off with that calzone thing. And that looks so fucking good. And then they went to, like, Starbucks or something like that. And um, they were vlogging inside there. And then after that, they went to, like, another place to eat, which was, like, this Mexican restaurant. And the food looked really fucking good. However, they were saying that it wasn't, it didn't taste good. So they ended up eating the pineapple with shamoy, whatever it's called. It's like that... Um, mexican like seasoning that people put on like pineapple and stuff and it it, i don't know like you'll see pictures and they said that was better than the actual mexican meal itself but i don't know i don't think that they were eating the mexican meal properly because Rylan adams was just taking bites from like the lettuce and like the top of the taco and you're if you want the full taste you need to put like the meat you need to put everything inside of it as a bite. You can't just eat, like, the lettuce part and then the cream part and then the fucking um, bread part. That's going to be bland. You have to put, like, the meat in it and other whatever that they give you. Like, ugh, I just, I can't, with Ryan Adams, like, he doesn't know how to, like, properly eat food. He just takes small bites and he's like, oh, this is, like, so bland. No wonder it's fucking bland. You're taking small fucking bites. You're supposed to take bigger fucking bites. Anyways, that pissed me off. But that being said, um, at the end of the video, Ryan Adams got, like, a fucking cup of coffee and he's oh, rylan adams loves coffee like i know shane dawson loves coffee but i didn't know that rylan adams loves coffee as well because he was going crazy without his coffee like he needed his fucking iced coffee and the iced coffee looks so fucking good because he said in the video like at the end of the video that he waited like 40 minutes with lizzie to get his fucking iced cup of coffee with like ice in it. and not gonna lie it looked fucking good and <laughs> uh the last place that they went to was like fucking um the sugar shack place where they ate like a oreo milkshake and i'm not a fan of sweets so that didn't look that great to me like i like fruits and stuff i just don't like cake if that makes sense so i couldn't care less about like milkshakes and stuff like that i'm weird like that i know whenever i tell people that i hate like cookies i hate like sweet pastries like pies and stuff like that like, the only type of pies that I'll eat are meat pies. I like savory food. I just don't like dessert food, if that makes sense. I don't like cake. I don't like cookies. People will fucking get mad at me when I say that, and they think that I'm lying, but I really don't. Like, I, I could puke if I think about cookies and cake. So, I don't even like chocolate, bro. Like, I don't even like fucking white chocolate. Can you believe that? Like, I don't like milkshakes. I just... I don't even like fucking Oreos. Like, I won't even eat Oreo ice cream. Like, if I eat ice cream, it has to be, like, fruit flavor. I like sweet stuff, like pop juice fruit i just don't like man-made pastries like oreos or just because it doesn't taste natural to me i like the whole natural like fruit mango i'm more of a girly girl type of vibe like you know how girls they like fruits and stuff 
I like I like that sort of shit. Like I don't know what it is. It, even when it comes to perfume, like if I were to wear perfume, I won't wear men's perfume because that that's like fucking. It just smells man made and just not natural. It smells like chemicals. But like a woman's deodorant or a woman's <laughs> perfume, I'll use instead of the man's fucking deodorant because like women's deodorant smells more like fruit it smells more natural it smells like body lotion that's like fruity and strawberry like i like that shit and that's the same thing with food if that makes sense i don't know i'm very very uh hard individual to fucking access so or analyze so just please like don't fucking judge me it is what it is i'm weird i I get it but i'm not trying to be weird i just i don't like fucking sweet pastry foods like pies and truck or chocolate sorry i just can't but anyways, um, that was the end of the video, basically, because fucking Ryan Adams basically got a fucking panic attack because he was drinking his fucking coffee, and he's like, oh, okay, I gotta go home, and it was so fucking funny because, like, at the f- beginning of the video, they were fine because they weren't drinking any fucking coffee, but then as soon as coffee was went into Ryan Adams, and he loves his fucking coffee, he waited fucking 40 minutes for it, he had a fucking panic attack, and he left, and you can tell that he had a panic attack and left, so... It was just like, bro, Shane and Ryland, like, if you guys don't, (sighs) coffee is going to make you have fucking anxiety. Coffee is a really, really strong effect. It fucking overpowers alcohol, in my opinion. And, you know, people drink alcohol to make anxiety go away. Um, It's just like, it's not going to work if you're drinking coffee and people can't, like, get rid of their coffee. It's like, bro, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just funny. I don't know how to fucking explain it. It's just fucking funny. But that being said, I'm going to leave the video off now. I'm just saying that, like, I really, really, really like this Rowling Adams video. And I know that I have a lot of Shane Dawson and Rowling Adams viewers. So I'm making this video now just to show my happiness because I really, really am in love with Shane and Dawson. Shane Dawson and Rowling Adams' relationship. And I'm really happy that he's not putting Morgan or, like, his mom in any of his vlogs anymore because... Rylan Adams' family, bro, I don't even know what it is. Like, Ma- Morgan's cool and all, but she she's boring. Um, His mom is just fucking caring. I hate his mom so fucking much. She thinks that she can do anything that she wants. She's nosy as fucking fuck. And she reminds me of, like, Shane Dawson's um stepsister, whatever the fuck her name is, Sandy. Because, like, they have, like, the same tone of voice, and they're just so fucking nosy, and they're just super, super fake, and they think that they can do anything they want. It's just that privileged, caring type of behavior, and... It's just weird how, like, they, they're they exactly like Sandy and Rylan Adams' mom. Like, I don't know how to explain it. But that being said, <sighs> they've made so many fucking videos, like, podcasts and even Rylan Adams' vlog podcast with Lizzie. Like, I didn't watch any of those because I just don't care for, like, anybody else except for Rylan Adams. Like, I didn't even care for Shane Dawson until, like, I started watching Rylan Adams. You know, like, us twinks, we gotta stick together. So, as much as I love Shane Dawson, I have to say that I'm mostly a fan of Rylan Adams, and he just entertains me. So, it is what it is. That's all I'm gonna make for this video. I hope you guys like it. All the Shane Dawson, Rylan Adams fans that watch my fucking channel, I just am simply giving my opinion. I want to give an applause to Ryan Adams for actually fucking listening and, like, making vlogs where he's actually, like, vlogging outside because shit made me so fucking excited. And I love seeing that. It was, like, a 10 out of 10. And more videos like that. Please, Ryan, if you're listening, please stop making fucking boring conspiracy videos or just... Oh, I hate his podcast with Lizzie. I think it's so boring. I just... I feel like they should just go out and vlog and that would be so much more entertaining. So please, for your fucking viewers, do that, okay? I love you guys so fucking much. All my fans that are listening to me right now and subscribe if you're interested in my personality, all my new viewers. I'm going to make a lot more videos if Ryan Adams fucking continues to make better videos like this, all right? And um, the next video that I'm going to make is, if it doesn't get that much views, I'm probably going to delete it, but I'm obsessed with the video game Final Fantasy VII, and it came out February 29th, and I already played the demo that came out like three weeks ago, but fucking, uh, it's just like... I don't, like, I have to play it and I have to watch the gameplay on YouTube or the walkthrough on YouTube, but it's just fucking hard because, like, it's so fucking long and I just, it's it's an emotional journey, so I'm going to explain that in my next video, so if you're interested in my personality, please stay tuned for that video. It's coming really, really soon after this. I just have to edit this really fast and then I'm going to make the Final Fantasy video. So, I love you guys so much. Subscribe if you're interested in my personality. Peace out.